As you've already seen, I've created a template outline for your informative speech as well as your future speeches. But all of these outlines are only available in the .docx file type, which is a Microsoft Office Word document. And some of you might not have Microsoft Word or you might just not prefer to use Microsoft Word. That being said, if you do want Microsoft Word, but you think you don't have access to it, you do have access to it as a student at this school. And more information about accessing Google Docs is available in the student resources link here on Canvas. But let's just say that you just don't prefer to use Microsoft Word and you want to use Google Docs instead. That's totally fine. So in order to do that, you have to go through a specific set of steps in order to make sure that the outline formatting doesn't get messed up. Because if you were to simply copy and paste the information from this document into a fresh um, Google document, it just doesn't work the same way. So here's what you have to do. First thing is to find the informative speech outline.docx attachment link in the informative speech with VA module on Canvas. So you're going to go ahead and click on that attachment and it's going to lead you to this page that has a preview of the outline. So you can't do anything with the outline here, right? You can't click on it, you can't um, edit it in any way, and so you have to download it by clicking the button that says download informative speech outline.docx. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. I hit the download button. And if I were to simply click on the download file that just appeared in my Google Chrome, it would open it in Microsoft Word. And that's not what I want to do. So instead, I'm going to go to my Google Drive. You can see all my PowerPoints here. Um, and I'm going to click on New. And then instead of creating a new Google Doc or a new Google Slide, Right? I'm instead going to click the button that says File Upload. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to open up my Downloads folder on my computer. So I have my informative speech outline.docx. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then click Open. And it's uploading the item. My upload is complete. So once the upload is complete, you can click on that little pop-up that is on the screen, and it, again, it only pulls up a preview of the document, right? You can't do anything with this. You can't type on it. You can't do anything. And so from here, it's still reading it as a Microsoft Office document. So you have to click on the button that at the top here that says open with Google Docs. And once you click that button, it converts the file that you just downloaded into a Google Doc format. So it takes all of that information, all of that formatting information, and translate it, translates it so that Google Docs can understand it. Because um, they're two different programs that work very differently. And so now I can edit this template to my heart's content. So you can put in your attention getter, you can type in your preview statement, your transitions, all of that stuff that you could do when if you were using it in Microsoft Word. And it even lets you do, th do things like I was showing before, like adding another main point. Main point. And going back and adding sub points to the main points and adding, uh, oops, adding sub points, can't type, um, and adding sub sub points, right? The A's and the ones and the twos and all of that kind of stuff. So it allows you that flexibility that you had if you were using Microsoft Office. Um, it allows you the total flexibility that you want when you're writing your speech. And you still have all of those checklists, right? So you can have all your main points, your sub points, your transitions, your summary, memorable closing statement, all of that is still here. The references are still here. You can still type in your references. And it's a, and Microsoft Office, or rather Google Docs, is a free software. You only have to have a Google account in order to access it, unlike Microsoft Word, which normally you have to pay for, but again, as a student, you can get it for free. Um, but Microsoft 
or sorry, Google is so nice because it also allows you to edit your documents on the go. So I can start writing my outline on my computer here and then I can take my iPad and I can edit that same outline and the edits will be on both devices and it's really neat that way, right? It gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, however, if you are going to use Google Docs to write your speech, you cannot use Google Docs to turn in your speech. So normally when you're using Google Docs, right, and you want to t share something with someone, you hit the share button and then you, uh, you send them the link and all that kind of stuff. I do not accept links to Google Docs as assignments. So what you have to do instead is once you've typed up your completed outline, you will go to File, Download, and then either download this as a Microsoft Word document or as a PDF. So you have to convert it back to that old formatting and then upload that file to Canvas. So download it as either a Microsoft Word document or as a PDF document, either one will do. And then you'll take that file that is created. So my file is now created. So I'll take this file from my downloads folder and I can upload that file to Canvas. So don't submit a link to Google Docs. Make sure that you re-download the finished product and then upload that finished product to Canvas.